So I'd like to look at question 3a part 2 uh, from the National 5 2015 physics paper. And it says, um, calculate the thickness of the steel sample at position x. Now we've already determined that the time taken at position x is 15 microseconds. Um, so what we're going to do is calculate the thickness of the steel at position x. So let's just have a look back up through here and uh, think about this carefully. Uh, it's taken 15 microseconds at position X for the signal to travel along and back again. And back again. Uh, so do we know the speed of this signal? Going back up to the top, yes we do, it's 5,200 meters per second. And we know it travels um, at that speed along and back again. So if we know the speed and the time it's traveling, we can work out the distance it's traveled. So let's put that up there and let's work out the distance. So formula is pretty simple. Distance is equal to the speed multiplied by the time. So let's write our left hand line up here. And um, the speed is 5200 um, meters per second. And the time is 15 milliseconds. I'm going to write that in standard form 15 times 10 to the minus six seconds. So if we do the sum, and um, that's the distance is equal to the speed 5200 times the time. 15 times 10 to the minus 6 and that will give us uh, a distance of 0 0.078 meters and you'd be tempted to leave it there but that's not correct because that represents the distance that the signal has traveled um, going through here along the way and back again but we're not interested in that distance we're interested in the thickness of the steel so that's actually half the distance that it has traveled going there and back again so half that distance if we do that now um, so the actual thickness of the steel so I'll write this down below thickness is equal to that distance divided by 2 which is 0 0.078 over 2 which is 0 0.039 meters. And you could write 0 0.04, and that would be one less significant figure you'd be allowed that, but that is the, the answer that we're looking for right there.